Yeah, I think uh, whatever happened in that game is not not so important now. I think we should be very proud of um, how we finished the game today. We knew that uh, scoring is going to be tough against them. They credit to them. They, they defended very well with the back five. Uh, I thought we didn't create enough chances, uh, or we didn't stretch them enough and create space within the back line. But that's something we need to look at again. But you know, our white triangles today were were quite okay. Uh, and you know, kudos to Boris for keeping his cool and Faris to to find that finish at the end. Right, and this is something you've uh, faced throughout the season. You've dominated the first half, but couldn't find a way past you know the defenders. So, what will you be looking to tweak in terms of your approach during the break? Well, it's not that we're not banging on the door. I think we are, and we are, we've created decent chances. And just you know, sometimes again, like I go back to the other day, it's just two inches to the left or two inches to the right, and it might have, might have been a goal. But more importantly, we're getting to the positions to to try create a chance or, or try to convert a chance rather. So yeah. Right, and um, what's your biggest takeaway from today with Young Lions in mind for the next weekend? Yeah, I, I think towards the end you could see some um, fatigue um, showing up. And so again, it's all about rest, recovery, gain as much freshness as we can um, and then try to be as ready as we can against Young Lions. Of course, I feel uh, a draw will be a better result uh, and it's a fair result if it's a draw. Um, but uh, congrats to Tampines for the, w for the win. But anyway, we are proud of uh, the p performance of the, the, the players tonight. I think they worked really, really hard. Um, yeah, it's just unlucky that we lost the game. And you managed to keep them quiet actually in the opening 45. So what do you think changed after the break? Um, nothing changes actually. I think we were still going strong in the second half as well. Um, looking for that except for, you know, uh, the first goal scored by them. But um, I think we... we throughout the game not only in the first half and I think in the, even in the second half we, are, we were still trying to, 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 to score goals you know to defend and all that yeah. Right, and it must be disappointing to drop these points by conceding the sp and conceding the spot but do you think you could have done anything more tonight? Um, I feel yeah yeah maybe maybe we can I, I don't like to, to, to point out uh, uh, any individual mistake but I think um, uh, maybe a, a little much better uh, than uh, from from uh, some of the players, but I think overall uh, we were satisfied that you know all the players worked really hard. Yeah. Right. And Geelong up next for you this weekend. Is it just to recuperate and regroup ahead of that match? Uh, we only have a few days before we meet Geelong. Uh, most important thing right now, I think, is, uh, the players need to be. Uh, we need to check whoever is injured, you know, um, and then come back for recovery so that you know we are prepared for our, our Gelang game. Thank you so much. Uh, tonight performance, uh, we know we expect one very tough game against uh, Tajan Pagar. Uh, we know we expect many, many duel, uh, many, many foul. And I know we cannot play our game, our style tonight, but the most important is to win the game. And I think we, we collect three points in the And what's your assessment of your team's performance tonight? Uh, I'm very proud of my team and we give everything tonight. Uh, we win last game against Hogan. We, uh, we prepare for four days, we ex expect one more hard game, uh, we go away against Young Lions uh, and of course we want to, we want to push Albirex until the end and try to win the title.